Hello everyone. Let's provide the solution to this problem. We have 4 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of x equals 72. And um, for us to continue from here, we are going to break this um, 4 into 2 so that we have 2 to the power of 2. Then this power of x will come here. Then plus 2 to the power of x equals 72. Now, we'll continue. By the way, if you have not subscribed to my channel, Please subscribe so that you can get um, more of my videos. Now, we can change the position of these powers. Because if you have to multiply A and B, okay, A and B will give us A, B, right? If I change the position of A and B, and I get B times A, this is still giving us A, B. So the position when multiplying does not really matter. So I'm going to do the same thing. X will come in, 2 will go out. So we now have 2 to the power of X to the power of 2 plus 2 to the power of X equals 72. Now, we have 2 to the power of x in two places. So, we'll say let y be equal to 2 to the power of x. So, in place of this, I will now be having um, y to the power of 2. Because 2 to the power of x is now y. Then, plus, this 2 to the power of x is y. And it's equal to 72. Now let us bring 72 to the left. So we have y squared plus y minus 72 equals 0. Now we have a quadratic equation that you can solve using any of the methods. But for the sake of um, this lesson, I will be using factorization method. Okay, so if you want to factorize this, it means that you're looking for two numbers that you multiply to get minus 72. Then you add them to get 1. 1 is the coefficient of y. So the two numbers will be... The two numbers will be 9, okay, so the two numbers can be 9, okay, this is 9, and minus 8, because 9 times minus 8 is minus 72, then 9 plus minus 8 will give us plus 1. So to factorize this, we'll have y plus 9 in the first bracket then in the second bracket we have y minus 8 and this is equal to 0 from here we apply 0 product rule and I believe we know when to apply that we are multiplying this and this to get 0 therefore one of these should be equal to 0 so we're going to say y plus 9 is equal to 0 or y minus 8 is equal to 0. If you must know, we are looking for the real solution. From here, y will be equal to 0 minus 9 or y is equal to 0 plus 8. So our y is 9, okay, that is minus 9, or y equals 8. Therefore, y is equal to minus 9 or 8. 
But mind you, we were not given y in the equation. Let's take a look at that. We had them um, 4 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of x equals 72. There is no y in the equation, but we introduce it at some point when we say let y be equal to 2 to the power of x. So we'll now come back to our solution here. In place of y now, I'll write 2 to the power of x equals minus 9. Or on the other side, you know y is equal to 8. So that means 2 to the power of x is also equal to 8. But then from here, there is no value of x that will give us minus 9 as the you know on the other side if you put x to be equal to 1 x to the power of 1 is is 2 and that's 2 is already more than minus 9 if you put 0 2 to the power of 0 is 1 because in number raised to the power of 0 is 1 so it's not giving us minus 9 if you put negative okay if you put negative 1 2 to the power of negative 1 is 1 over 2, and that is 0 0.5. So it is still greater than this number here. So what we'll do is to reject whatever we have from here. Okay, so this has to be rejected. And we are rejecting this because it will not give us any real solution. From this side, we have 2 to the power of x, and it's equal to 8. It can also be written in this form, and that is 2 to the power of 3. Now, the bases are the same, so we believe that the powers must be the same thing. So, our x is equal to 3. This is the value, this is the value of x. Now, we always verify our our work so let's go back and verify very quickly okay so we want to verify very quickly okay and um, we had 4 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of x equals 72 our x is 3 so we have 4 to the power of 3 plus 2 to the power of 3 4 to the power of 3 is 64, plus 2 to the power of 3 is 8. If you add these two, you have 72. This is 72. So this is to confirm that our x equals 3 satisfies the equation. A reminder, if you've not subscribed to my channel, subscribe and keep enjoying yourself.